Good morning, everyone. Well, with a slow moving cold front working across Nebraska today, we do have a chance of severe storms to talk about, a chance of flooding to talk about, and a big difference in temperatures across the state as well. So let's get started at 8 a.m. this morning, talk about who has the best chance of seeing rain for the morning commute. And the best chance is gonna be in and around the Sioux City area because that's where the front has temporarily stalled out. So in general, a better chance of rain to the north and east this morning and a smaller chance to the south and west. So there is a chance of rain for the morning commute for Lincoln and Omaha, but the better chance a little bit farther to the north. And this is going to be a combination of showers and storms, but no severe storms at this point. By 11 a.m., things quieting down a little bit. You notice more gaps showing up, but the same story, more rain to the north and east, less to the south and west. By 2 o'clock this afternoon, there's probably going to be very little going on, except in around the Sioux City area, because that front still stalled out, so still waiting on it to get moving. But by 5 o'clock, it will start to move again. And I do think we'll start to see a little bit of an uptick in activity. Now, still not a huge increase in activity, but I do think we'll start to see things pick up again around 5 o'clock. And it's at this point where we're just going to have to watch out for a couple of storms to be severe. Most likely, they're just going to be regular thunderstorms with just enough ingredients where we could see a couple of storms be on the stronger side. I tell you what, I really think the better chance is going to be as we go into the evening hours. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the big difference in temperatures we're going to be seeing across the state. Look at Sioux City at 65 degrees, 5 o'clock this afternoon. Omaha, though, 75. And then it, there could be a very tight temperature gradient. Look at Omaha, 75. Lincoln, 82. And then Beatrice, 85. Kearney, 84. How about McCook? sitting at 92 degrees so a little bit of everything across the state today for central and eastern nebraska it is going to be breezy gusts 20 25 miles per hour but for the western part of the state uh, winds aren't going to be that strong so look what happens when we jump ahead to eight o'clock we'll notice a little bit more starting to show up still the possibility that a couple of the storms could be severe I think there's going to be even more, though, as we get into the later evening hours. Look at 11 o'clock. The gap's starting to fill in. It's definitely going to be scattered activity as that front continues to slowly push uh, to the south. Before midnight, even as late as 10, 11 o'clock, I'm still going to mention the chance for some damaging wind and hail. Though I think it's going to be few and far between. After midnight, the chance for any damaging wind and hail going away but there's still going to be thunderstorms around and they're still going to be dumping some heavy rain. And the problem is because they're going to be very slow moving, we're going to have to watch out for a little bit of flooding. It's not going to be a widespread issue, but I do think it could happen in a few spots because this is 2 a.m. I notice heavy rain in spots, but then look at 5 a.m. Look how those areas of red do shift to the south and east, but rather slowly. Uh, so that's my concern for what we could end up being some isolated flooding. So still a possibility, even very late tonight, early tomorrow morning, for some thunderstorms and heavy rain in spots, particularly in the southeastern part of the state. By 8 a.m. though, tomorrow morning, no more heavy rain, no more thunderstorms. I will mention the chance still for some scattered showers in the eastern third of the state, but I think we'll already have dried out in central and western Nebraska. So for the severe threat, beginning about five o'clock this afternoon until midnight tonight, there's a chance for, for damaging wind and hail. And then after midnight for the chance of flooding, the places included and a chance for damaging wind, hail, and flooding, North Black, Kearney, Grand Island, Columbus, Fremont, Omaha, Lincoln, Beatrice, McCook. Now, Again, this is the marginal risk, so most likely nothing big is going to happen. You're just going to get some heavy rain and lightning briefly. You'll see a quarter, half an inch of rain, but in a few spots. I think we could see wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour, perhaps up to penny size hail, and I think there could be a few spots to see up to three inches of rain. And if that three inches of rain occurs in a low-line or poorly drained location, yes, we're talking about a few flood roads.